Ahmed says, can a Muslim woman preach Islam on social media? There are so many women who are preaching Islam on social media without covering their face. Is this permissible? First of all, you have to ask yourself, what is the purpose of hijab? Why did Allah mandate hijab? Is it not to protect women from men and to protect men from women? Did not Allah Azza wa Jal mention in chapter 33, verse 53, Surah Al-Ahzab, that whenever you ask the mothers of the believers for something, let it be from behind the hijab. This is purer for your hearts and for their hearts. Allah is addressing this to whom? To the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, to Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali. And he's telling them that when you do so with your mothers, the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, the mothers of the believers, do so, meaning asking them for, for some utensils, from beyond a curtain, from beyond a hijab. Why? Because by doing so, this is purer for your hearts, O companions of Allah, and for the hearts of the mothers of the believers. What about our hearts? We know that their hearts are way purer than, than mine and yours. Our hearts are corrupt, are tarnished by sins and desires and whims. So aren't we in need of such purity more than them? Definitely yes. So this defies the purpose of hijab, that women come out on social media to preach Islam, let alone to do anything else. The question would come and be, aren't there enough men to do the job? Why would we need women to come on social media? Answer, because women like to ask other women and there are some private issues that only women can address. That's good, but it has to be in all segregated section. It has to be done privately between women among themselves, not in public. Not when I type and I can see the sister giving da'wah on YouTube. Okay, Sheikh, she is reminding us of Allah Azza wa Jal. Yes, but men, a lot of them have corruption in their heart when they see such a woman, whether beautiful or average or even not beautiful. Shaitan is there. Shaitan comes to me and beautifies her and saying that, Masha Allah, she is righteous, she is good looking, and she is knowledgeable and makes me adore her. This is how shaitan works. This doesn't happen with men. Women look at the shaykh and they don't fall in love with him because Allah did not mandate men to wear hijab. Allah mandated women to wear hijab because they are more fitna. And mother Aisha, who is the most knowledgeable among women, may Allah be pleased with her, she is our mother. Yet she never addressed men. She never addressed the companions. That's weird. That's strange. The Prophet of Allah والسلام, told us to take half of our deen from Aisha. Because she was so close to the Prophet, she learned a lot of the deen. And she was among the companions that narrated a lot of hadiths. So we learn a lot from her. Yet she never addressed them. She never did a sermon or a lecture in a masjid. Though she is the mother of the believers, no one would have ill intent with them. But this is the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal. Nowadays, unfortunately, women, Muslim women that is, I'm not referring to other, Muslim women have been brainwashed with the issue of empowerment. Nowadays, even women who memorize the Qur'an in the past fully, they have taken off the hijab. 
not the niqab, they have taken off the hijab totally. And they are calling other women for empowerment, for being uh, uh, independent, for standing up in the face of men, for rejecting their father and brother's guardianship to travel alone without a mahram, to do anything that a man does, a'udhu billah. Is this Islam? These are delusional. These are ignorant imbeciles. Don't be fooled by them memorizing the Quran because they have zero knowledge of the religion of Islam. What they're doing is exactly what shaitan wants them to do. Allah says in the Quran, وَقَرْنَ فِي بُيُوتِكُنْ Stay in your homes. This is where a woman should be, taking care of her parents, taking care of her husband and family, giving the family a safe haven to flourish and to, uh, and to thrive in. But shaitan tells them, no, go out, work, mix with men. You can drive Formula One cars. You can be a pilot. You can be an engineer and build high risers. You can do the, what is this? And there is no shaitan telling man, stay home. You can be a good housewife. You can be even pregnant and, and bear children. He doesn't say this to men. Why? Because he doesn't need to. All what he needs is to corrupt one woman, and this is more dangerous than a thousand cannon. But Muslim women are heedless. They don't pay attention. And not only that, see, if you corrupt your own self, if you're sinful, tough luck, you'll go to hell alone. But if you are the leader, and if you are guiding other women, other girls to be corrupt like you, then you have a big problem. You'll take your seat next to Satan in hellfire. Why is that? Because you are a leader in taking people away, in guiding them astray, in showing them the path of hell. Why are all of this is happening now? Because of the media, especially the social media. Women just want fame. Not only women, even men. Unfortunately, I've seen few samples of women and men saying heinous things, saying stupid things just to be famous. Like that person who came on an interview saying that I love Hebrew, I love the Israeli people. Is he a Muslim? What kind of Islam is this? It's just wanting to be famous. An old story, and I always repeat this, but it is important to comprehend the meaning of it. In the season of Hajj, like our season, the pilgrims caught a nomad, a Bedouin, who had feces in a bag wanting to soil the curtains of the Kaaba. So just before he did his heinous act, they caught him, they beat him, and they took him to the Muslim ruler. When they showed the Muslim ruler what he was about to do, he said, Subhanallah, are you a Muslim? And the nomad said, yes, I am a Muslim. And the judge said, this is impossible. How could you be a Muslim and do such a horrendous act? And the man said, I wanted to be mentioned among the Muslims, even if they curse me. No problem. Just wanted to be famous. A'udhu Billah. You want to be famous, even if they curse you. So whenever they come to mention you, say, yeah, yeah, you remember that man? What's his name? May Allah curse him. He wanted to soil this, the curtains of the Kaaba with feces. This is what's happening in the social media. How many followers do you have? Oh, mashallah, you have so many followers. How did you gain these followers? By giving proper knowledge? By being sincere and teaching people? By, let us not, let us avoid Islam, by giving them beneficial advice or 
by interfering and saying anything that makes you popular, saying anything that makes you stand out in a crowd. A Syrian blogger a couple of days ago said that she enjoyed having illicit relationship outside of the marriage constitution. She admitted fornicating, committing adultery. Why would a woman do such a thing? She says, I invite women to do and share my experience. This is blasphemous. What is she doing? Why is she exposing herself like this? A prostitute, a slut. What else can you describe her? But why is she doing this? Even prostitutes hide their identity. The answer is because she wants exposure. She wants to be famous. She wants to get more likes and more followers. And this is what will break a person's back. Therefore, my advice is for the women, for the sisters, to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Not to look after exposure. You can be beneficial to the ummah if you simply go to segregated places like so many da'iyas do. They attend conferences, but no one attends their lecture except women, and it's not recorded. You can do a lot by having students like this, but to come out in the media showing your face, showing your voice, and you know the restriction and prohibition of this, this is not very wise of you.